In this short video, we're going to walk through the process of spreading your tweets or posts to social networks over the course of a few hours or a few days or a few weeks or longer, rather than just posting them all in one bulk hit. So I'm on a Buffer. Um, so this is essentially what you'll need. You'll need Buffer. You'll need a Twitter account. Uh, you'll need a news source or your website. And uh, I'll get to it a bit later, but there is an extension for Chrome which can help you out. Now, Buffer is the middle point between um, the action and the outcome. So the action being wanting to share a post or a page. Let's say, for example, we have this particular page that we want to share. Now, we have the option to share that directly to Twitter if we like. So if I post that, um, I can share it on Twitter and it would go straight out to the news feed. But if I sit here and want to post many of the pages, let's say I want to do five pages, I don't want them all to post out straight away so that I have five tweets all in a row that have just come out right now. What's better is if I can actually post them over the course of a day or, as I said, a day, a week or longer. So if you're short on time, then this might be a suitable option for you. So log into a Buffer account. You can do that by using an existing Twitter, Facebook or LinkedIn account, or you can just set up a Buffer account, which is what I have already prepared. Once you sign in, here is the dashboard where basically you have the connected accounts. So you can connect in more accounts if you like. Note that the free Buffer account has limitations. So there's one of each type of account, for example, one Twitter account, one Facebook page or Facebook profile, one LinkedIn page or profile. Um, so here we see, uh, oh, here we go up to 12 networks at once for the up upgradable pack. So if you want to upgrade, you can get extra packs. I'm just using this for Twitter. If you want to connect more, then you can connect via these buttons. Here is the buffer feed. So when we have buffer um, or links added to the buffer, they will list in here. And once they've actually gone out, once they've been posted, you'll be able to see some analytics. So this tab will get to you to analytics. So this is the post here. It was sent out at 9.03 a.m. We can see here, and uh, that was 47 minutes ago. So this is the, the tweet that was went out. So far, it's only potentially gone to 16 people, and as you can see, there are zero metrics against it. We can set here a schedule. So this is the schedule of when you... So when you add tweets to your buffer, you can add, uh, I think it's up to 10 at a time. That's the limitation for the free account. What will happen is, at these set times for each day of the week, it will actually look for something in your buffer. So at 9.03 a.m., it will look to see if there's anything in the buffer. If there is, it will post. Again, at 10.52 a.m., then it will look again in your buffer and look to see if there's anything to post. Now, if there's nothing there, nothing happens. But if you've got multiple uh, posts that are sitting there in the buffer, then they, these are the set times that they will go out. These are all editable, so you could change these if you like. Um, you know, completely up to you when you want to do this. Um, you can delete, so you've got you know fewer posting times. Maybe you've only got three a day or four a day. That's completely up to you. But if you have, if you constantly fill your buffer and you have, let's say you have ten posts that you. So the first thing you do in the morning is put ten posts in here, and I'll get to that in a minute. But if you put ten posts, but you only have five scheduled sections, that means that five will go out on day one and five will carry out to the next day. That means you won't be able to add more to the buffer um, or add more than five to the next day's buffer. So if you're doing 10 buffer posts here, make sure you've got 10 scheduled posts here. Or essentially what I'm saying is, do the same amount of buffer posts as you do scheduled times or less. Uh, and then you've got your settings here as well. Um, you can reconnect with accounts if they if there's a problem. Um, you've got the My Account section. Make sure your time zone is sent to the correct time so that that way it actually, at this time here, the 9.05, it will send out in your local time zone. 
So this, um, so let's create a buffer tweet. Now there's a couple of ways we can do it. The first way, which is the longer way, um, is to actually add a buffer um, via the app itself. So once you've signed in here, let's grab, so let's grab a um, a link, and we'll put that in the buffer. So here's the that that's created a link to this page, and now we're going to. Make a tweet. All right. So um, there we go. So that should be enough for a tweet. Perfect. So we know that it's going to post out under Twitter because of this. If we had more accounts here, it would also show the other. Um, icons. Here is the actual tweet that will go out and this link here is going to go across to this page here. Now we can upload a picture if we want as well. We can um, share buffer, it's not really needed, um, but if you want to get extra features you can do so. And if we just add to the buffer it will go straight out to the scheduled times. Or we could set a custom time for when it needs to go out. So I'll set it for today and I'll set it for um, uh, set it for a few minutes away from now. So that's set for today at 10.01 a.m., which is actually about six minutes away. Um, what I could actually do is maybe make that a bit sooner. Uh, let's make that a few minutes away. So now we've got it scheduled. So it's saving and it's adding to the buffer. So we've got, it's told you, okay, great, we've got one more tweet in the buffer. And here we have um, that this is the tweet that's going to go out and this is the time it's going to go out, which is very shortly. So that's the longer way. The other way is to actually install the um, Chrome app. So I'm using Chrome here. So um, I don't know if it's used on others, but Chrome is good for these kind of extensions. So just do a search in, in Google for Google Chrome extensions. Go to the extension store. And then do a search for buffer. And here we go. Here's the buffer um, app. And we can then click on we'll, uh, add. Here we have it in here, and we've also got the buffer um, browser tool, but we've already we've already installed that. So you just add that to Chrome at the top here. So basically, what would happen then is let's say we go to another page. We can go to this one. Now we can click on buffer, the shortcut there. We can create it. We've got a uh, we've got the link shortening on, which is just the buffer link shortening here. Again, we can add a photo, we can add a custom time, or we just hit buffer. Now I've added it to buffer. If we go back into here, I'll just do a page refresh. Or well, it's already added, so that's fine. So now we can see here that we have um, the first buffer, which will go out shortly. Then the next tweet, now this is set at 10.52 because it's according to our schedule. It's looking for the next available time slot. So that's what that's doing there. And we could go along and we could keep adding in uh, pages. And we've actually got up to, um, up to 10 available for the free account. So I'll just add another buffer. It's just as simple as... Um, So if you want to highlight text as well, as I've just done. Add some hashtags if you want. And then add to buffer. 
So now we've got more buffers or more tweets in the buffer. Just do a page refresh if it's not there. So now we have this second one um, that's there. So the first one's actually gone out. So if we just go back to Twitter, we can have a quick look. Here we have it. Great. So that's, that's buffered and gone out to Twitter. We can uh, click on the link. And it's taken us to that page. So that means that you can sit there and you can find all the different pages you like and you might schedule it so it goes out at a particular uh, time um, or you might when you create the buffer post you might set that at a particular custom time so it could be on today, tomorrow or sometime in the next few days. And that's how you can spend a few minutes a day managing your posts to your website or to your social media accounts over the next uh, few hours, a few days, a few weeks or longer to make it a bit more time saving for you. Hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up with more videos. Hit the share button if you think it's valuable and others could benefit from this. Um, and leave a comment below if you'd like to know any more information. Thanks for watching. I'm John from Young Digital Group and you can find us at youngdigitalgroup.com.au.